what's up guys right now um i'm trying to see which one is the recycling because we have some recycles that's cardboard all right so that's recycling um so you're gonna do that lucy right now is giving our our paperwork and yesterday we were supposed to have our wi-fi connected but i guess i was doing something wrong or i, I don't understand it so there's gonna be a technician coming on saturday which I want it to be earlier because, man, I already waited and I want to get the Wi-Fi. It makes it easier, but hey. But I told him if they can do anything, please. And then they said they're going to call me. They never called me, so that, that kind of sucks. Yeah. They never called me, but it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? I guess I just wasted Saturday. It's just I wanted to live stream a little bit, you know? Get some content out there start you know taking this hobby a little bit serious but hey but uh what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the store see what can we can do with that if we can uh make the process faster if not you know i have to go to lucy's parents house again because again i thought i was gonna have wi-fi and i could upload the vlog that i already edited but that didn't work out as, as planned so at that point i gotta go over there upload it so it should be out as we're speaking today is July 22, so it should be out today. Um, if that makes it easier for you guys, I mean, you guys are not gonna see this till the other vlog comes up, but you already know this is the start of July 22nd, which I'm gonna put it on the bottom too, but whatever. All right, see you when we get there to the apartment and tell you what it what's happening. Hey guys. Uh, we went to Lucy's parents house we uplo uploaded the vlog so it should be out by this time I mean by the time you see this video it's already gonna be posted but you know now we're trying to look for something to eat it's really late and like I said uh, we joined Weight Watchers so we're trying to you know make sure we get all our points and we don't over exceed our points in that in that situation it's kind of hard I've never done Weight Watchers Lucy has done Weight Watchers she knows what she's doing, but I have no idea. Sometimes I just want to eat junk food, and then she's like, too many points, so I'm here sad. But I'm really hungry. But in the long run, it'll help you. True. Yeah, but I'm hungry. The only thing I've eaten today has been some Frosted Flakes Rice Krispies. Uh, you know, put some milk on it. I was feeling a little bit adventurous. That's why I got Rice Krispies. I don't normally buy Rice Krispies. It's either like... Uh, apple jacks some fruit loops or stuff like that in that situation um, frosted flakes yeah you like very sugary cereals so as far as sugary cereals go this is probably a better option for you is what we got you yes because it's small and tiny too it's not like a, a lot to the servings is one cup and it's good for my points so as the milk is one cup for the serving size so it's pretty nice and it gets me going for what I need for my daily morning routine I normally don't eat breakfast but again, like Lucy said, I like sugary stuff. So if I wanted to pick something sugary, you know, then I got the Frosted Flakes and that's that much. I don't, you know, it doesn't affect me in the situation of trying to be healthy. Like again, I gained so much, so many pounds right now. I'm kind of like bummed out about it since I lost it. And I wanted to start going to the gym, but you know, COVID. Um, I can still go to the gym, but again, COVID. Uh, you gotta be more careful. Even though the gym's already had like clean, you know, supplies there, but People still don't clean it in regular days. So you gotta be careful with that situation. And then right now, it's kinda hot. Hopefully the AC, you can't hear it as much because I'm gonna put it a little bit up. Um, but again, this is our daily routine. We haven't done much after this. When we stop, um, when we're done eating, uh, we're gonna go to one of the furniture circles. We still need a couch because again, in the first vlog that I put, we gave our couch away. And you know, it's kinda bland, our living room space. We need something there. We need something to cover it. And we want to put the frame up. We want to make sure that the uh, area that we live in is already, like, you know, completed. Because that's technically all we need is that couch to make it all complete. I mean, we kind of need the Wi-Fi, but I got to wait until Saturday so, you know, the technician can come and fix whatever needs to be fixed. But I just got an email that's saying there was a package. Oh, I really hope that's... Yeah, there's a package waiting for me. So I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that we were just dumb and we didn't see the other box uh, or, you know, vice versa, they were and then they didn't send us the box. 
So we're kind of hoping that that box that we need is there because it's going to make it life so much better and then we're going to have Wi-Fi and we don't have to have the technician to come over if they don't need to. That's how we're dealing with right now. So I'm going to fill you in what we eat later on and um, when we go to uh, furniture stores to see what's around us. So you guys can come with an adventure. All right. See you guys. I want a smoothie king, but then I work out because there's none around here. But yeah. we decided to get what was it? We're gonna get some froyo, make yourself. Um, it's not really lunchtime or dinner time, so that makes it awkward and hard to decide because I already have plans to make tacos later for dinner. So I don't want us to be full and then be like, oh no, I don't want dinner because we've done that more than once. We're very weird with our meal times because we have breakfast and basically skip lunch, but then we're hungry at like four or five, which doesn't really work out so well. So we got our masks. And we are ready yeah. for some so, froyo. Yeah, so now we're going to uh, mix. It says mix. Oh, never mind. It says mix. So, uh, but yeah, we're going to go in there. We're going to see the flavors. We're the only one there. So we're not going to try to make like a ruckus, I guess, for us. You're, like, you know, yelling at the vlog camera. <laughs> I might take some videos, you know, edit it a little bit to see how I can, what I can do. And from there on, eat and then go to the furniture store. So you might see us in the furniture. It's going to be like a pop-up situation. Let's finish our froyo before looking at couches. Exactly. Still, then, you know, you yeah. buy it. Yeah. So all right, we're kind of hungry, so we're gonna eat some little froyo. All right, see you guys. Oh, whoa, whoa, nope, no copyright. Okay. Um, so you couldn't sit inside, cause you know, COVID. But I got mango, raspberry, non-fat sherbet with white chocolate chips. She got. I got, got birthday cake and non-fat chocolate, and this is so good. I'm so happy we decided to get some yogurt. Yeah, this is what it looks like. You know, I'm gonna enjoy this a little bit with my fat self. <laughs> Um, hopefully it tastes good as it sounds. I mean, it's mango raspberry. You can't go wrong with that. Fruit sorbets are always a good idea. Exactly. But we'll see you after this because I, I want to start eating and I keep looking at it. All right? <laughs> see you guys. Uh, guys, I'm going to the store. It's kind of dead. It's kind of quiet. So I don't want to be like screaming. But we're in the clearance store, you know. Save money. Got to be on a budget. You know. Yeah, as soon as we came in there, I, I, as soon as we came to the store, I saw clearance and I was like, we gotta go to the back, let's see what it is. You know, balling all the budget, like Lucy said. But that's it. This is the second store we've gone to. The other one, they didn't have a lot of things, so it didn't matter. But, I mean, there's still the, the floor there, maybe. Based on everything I'm seeing here, that might be a little out of our price range, but... We can, you wanna see it first? Yeah, might as well take a look. Okay, let's take a look, you know can't hurt you still got time so <laughs> you know there's no wi-fi so <laughs> i'm gonna keep mentioning it until they fix that there, but that so couch is like, cool there's like a shelf though behind it so you should put it against the wall or you put it against the wall and you put some stuff in the back like decorations no, that's what i'm saying you shouldn't put it against the wall and you have to decorate what I mean, looks cool to me. Ooh, this lamp has an outlet USB charger too. I like that. It's 2020. We need more things like that. I want my dresser to have an outlet too. <laughs> I want. Uh, uh, the TV already has USB, so technically you can charge it through a uh, TV. What else? I want my shoes to have a USB <laughs> port. That's would be fire. You mean, imagine just walking wherever you are. If shoes can have wheels, they can have wheels. Just imagine walking everywhere, and then you're like, ah, I need to charge my, my, my phone. Boom, your shoe. Charge. There you go. Anybody can trade market right now. I give you the idea. Make it happen. <laughs> Alright, guys. We're in like Clausener home, I think it was. North Carolina base, apparently. Uh, they look really fancy, like things. What happened? Oh, yeah, it's a little on the side. This one, she likes, I guess. A little bit. Oh, it has the things on the side. Uh, the only problem is like the shipping. If we buy one, it's like six to eight weeks. That's kind of like. But like I told her, if we buy, we buy. We don't have to wait for it. It's one less thing, right? But like, they're also quiet because I guess nobody's like, you know, coming to get stuff right now. But it looks cool. It looks cool. You know, it's a 
regular old furniture place. <laughs> I saw a lot of leather chairs. Oh, this is so nice. This is so nice. I would for sure, if I had a big house, we'll buy this. For sure. Oh, that's so nice. I'll be blasting music if this was mine. That? It's not bad. Simple. Simple little thing. Um, yeah, so is it like the third store we went to? Um, Cause there's like a line of it where we are. I don't know if you can see it, but that's that's the name right there. Oh, we'll figure it out later on. I want to give it its props since it's North Carolina base. Oh, and we can pick our stuff. I don't know if it's extra charge though. But if we see like a yeah fabrics, if we see a sectional, right, we can move it to the other side if you wanted to. But you know, she was talking to us real fast. She had to deal with somebody else first. Uh, but if it's not extra charge, I'll be fine. But I'm pretty sure it's gonna be extra. Well, if they order it, I don't think so, right? I mean, I don't know. But... Oh, how about that? It's not bad. Yeah, nice. Pricing is not bad, you know. We're trying to look for affordable stuff, you know. But if we really like it, we'll probably waste a little bit more. If we don't need to, we don't need to again. You like it? All right, guys, so we've gone to Ashley Home Store, right? But the music was playing too loud, so I didn't want to get, you know, copyrighted, and I didn't want to do the hassle of muting it and all that. But we've been to Haverty's as well, and I think we like one of the couches. But we have one more store to go, which is rooms to go. That point. I think one of the selling points of the Haverty's couch was the furniture that were around it were similar to the furniture we had. So we know it's gonna look good, which was yeah. nice. Like it had the same kind of countertops, which yeah. was just like very like serendipitous. Mm -hmm. And then um, the delivery is a big key too, because the <laughs> couple of ones that we went to are like, uh, it was like eight to 10 weeks. One of them was the same thing, yeah, eight to 10 weeks and um, <laughs> exactly. So we need a couch now. Um, so Haverty was the one that says four weeks. Turn around one week more just in case, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's still a shorter time wait. So like that's kind of when at this moment. Yeah. You know, um, but we are, do understand. Let me put my seatbelt before, you know, anything, you know, happens here. <laughs> um, but again, you know. Actually, oh, we're not doing the outlet. No, no, no. But you, are, you guys already know my common phrase that I've been using through all these videos. What is it, Lucy? It is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's not just the videos. You use that phrase pretty common in life every day. I do, I do. It's because of my brother, too. Like, she, like he calls me or he sees me. He's like, we're just like, it is what it is. We like read each other saying that. Yeah. Deliveries, yeah. The delivery is like the, the big key that's happening right now. So like, we need to know delivery estimates for not. But I think we're going more for, which one was it? The Ashley Homester one? I like the Haverty's one. The Haverty's one. All right guys, we have figured out, let me turn some lights here. We have figured out what, uh, what, uh, what am I trying to say? What couch, sofa? Um, we think we want to. I think oh, Haverty's one. Haverty's one. But at this moment, we're gonna turn it to Lucy. She's gonna make. She's gonna tell you. Can I speak? She's gonna show you how to make some tacos, like how she makes oh, them. I so, make my tacos, so. not uh, anything special or anything. But I got my ground beef. Then we'll cook that up. It's gonna take a while because I got a lot, so I'm probably gonna have leftovers, which is perfectly fine. Now just mash it up. Um, I'm just trying to focus on my foods. You know, I'm real hungry because, like we were saying earlier, we haven't had that much to eat today. So I gotta make sure these tacos come out good. Make sure we are fed. 
And then also, it's not as many points as I was expecting it was going to be with Weight Watchers, because when I originally did the program a little while ago, this would have been a lot more points, or at least not worth as many points, like, would have been then. It is now. They changed up the whole thing. Okay. I also usually don't like to start making bananas late, because I like to eat a little bit earlier, but we were out. Didn't have much of a choice. So I also bought the 25, a different like mix that I use, seasoning mix that I usually do. I bought the 25% less sodium one because it's a little bit healthier. So hopefully it tastes just as good and we like it, but time will tell. One thing is that she never made tacos until I told her, oh, let's make tacos. And this is like now one of her favorite foods to eat. Yeah, I was never a huge fan of tacos, never had it growing up, my mom never made it, we never did it, it was just never something that we did. I, I Also, okay, so I don't want to be like TMI, but like a lot of like spices that are sometimes in tacos at restaurants don't like don't sit well very well with me. So I always never, I just assumed it'd be the same way at home, but it's not and I enjoy it very much. We have them easily once a week. But now I think also since we're here, I'm gonna mix it up. You know, maybe do with ground turkey, ground chicken. Cause usually I do ground beef, but spice it up, try different things, extra stuff in the tacos. Like also cause we have to go grocery shopping again. We just bought some very preliminary basics. I don't have that much stuff to go in the tacos, but we got enough to enjoy it. Okay, so now that the meat is cooked. And I drained some of the excess water. Now we're going to put the seasoning in. If I can open it. <laughs> Dude, need some help right there. Sprinkle that around. I usually use two packets based on the amount of meat that we use. Mix it up once, but it's not going to really stick to it, so you got to add a little bit of water. Just so it'll start sticking. And I like to give it a good mix, try to coat as much as you can. If you realize that the seasoning is not coating like nearly any of the beef, you can add another packet of seasoning. That's why I always like to have extra packets on hand just in case. But this one's doing pretty good. That's coated all nice. I'm gonna use the tomato sauce. Not paste, I use a sauce. <gasps> Whoa! So, I made a little spill. I don't know, it just flew out everywhere. Our lamp is kinda like dirty, we gotta clean that. All right, now some extra cleanup. I was gonna say this email usually doesn't require a lot of cleanup. Pour a little bit of that. You're gonna have to edit that a little bit. Mm -hmm. And again, stir it around. Now this is a little bit to taste because some people like it a little more wet. All right, and then I just like to keep it over a low flame a little bit longer. So it all mixes together and then uh, pretty much done. You put it on a tortilla shell. I like the soft ones. Obviously, you can choose whatever you want. And then put whatever else you want on it toppings. You have some shredded lettuce, some cheese, some hot sauce, the whole uh, shebang. And then it's taco time. So now it's taco time. Get out plate. Look at these beautiful new plates we got from Home Goods. I love them and I'm so excited that we got new, some new plates. The um, just scoop some in the middle. Also, the amount of meat, if you put a lot of toppings on, obviously lower this or you're gonna get quite an explosive little taco. Well, uh, she puts she puts a uh, lettuce. 
And then I'm kind of basic. I know that depends on the times. I don't have, I normally, what I do is I put uh, like mozzarella. I don't like the Mexican uh, cheese ones because I don't like really like um, yellow cheese like that. And we don't have to shred it. I think so I'm doing Swiss. I'm just gonna cut it down and that's I'm gonna help it out a little bit. We're going on bare basics right Exactly. Now. And normally I put some like potato sticks and just put it in there so it can be crunchy and all that. But I'm gonna show you what sauces I put. And I wanna I wanna see if you guys judge me or not <laughs> on the sauces that I put. And this is her masterpiece right now. Yeah, I'm pretty basic with what I put on. Yeah. Oh, so we're going already. I'm gonna clean it. It's kind of dirty. Yeah, we'll take care of that. All right. So, what you got going on on your? So, top like here? I said, normally I use like mozzarella or anything white cheese. So I'm gonna use Swiss. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just cut it out real quick. Get one cheese, bam. Cut it real quick. Put it like that. Bam. Bam. I think because the heat, it's gonna melt up on there. Mm, correct. That's what I was gonna say next. All right. And what we do is, I like I like hot sauce. But the most one that I actually like is always the Taco Bell fire sauce. I guess free promotion right there. Um, and we're going to put it up on the top. A lot of it because I like spicy stuff. And my next condiment. All right. Wait for me. Wait, look at me real quick. Look at me here. Wait for me right here, right? Please comment down below if you're going to do this or you don't. Comment down below if you're judging me or not. It's up to you. Um, but I put ketchup on it. Uh, any type of ketchup. She likes no sugar added. I don't mind I don't, as long as I have ketchup. What I'm gonna do is, oh, spread it around there. Bam. Boom. Done. That's it. Boom. That's it. Now you gonna see my masterpiece real quick. Let's turn it around. Bam. Lots of liquids. Lots of things. You know. You know, real food. But with this. We're gonna leave you guys. Thank you guys for joining us. Please make sure to subscribe, share it, like it. Get us to 100 subscribers. We at least want to make it to 100 subscribers. That's our first goal. And from there, we leave you with, my name is Ivan. And I'm Lucy. I'm glad you know your name. See you guys. Bye.